I know it has been a hot minute. We have got a ton to catch up on. Check it out. We went and got another new truck. We will get into that. Before we get into that, just want to let you guys know we are getting ready to load up and leave for Blake Fitzgerald's event this weekend, Jamestown, Tennessee. If you guys have nothing going on, even if you do, you might want to cancel what you're doing because it is going to be an insanely awesome event. We are bringing tons of stuff. It is going to be a rowdy good time, so I'd highly suggest that your butt is there, Jamestown, Tennessee. Uh, but anyway, we are bringing the second gen the third gen, and the first gen. And hopefully we are squeezing all of this stuff on the step deck. We have been washing crap all dang day. You guys don't care about that stuff, but we got all the rigs cleaned up. We're getting ready to load up because we're headed there very, very soon. Uh, but before we do that, I want to kind of like catch up because you guys don't know about, don't know about anything. So let's just, let's just go around the shop and let's just do, do a quick little recap. Frame is still a frame. We still have parts. We got some Reaper traction bars that we're going to be changing up some stuff. Uh, we got the second gen. Second gen's back. VP life. Everything is good to go. Uh, we're going to be, we're going to be ripping this thing too. You know, why not? It does do burn out so shorty is good we fixed a boost leak on it hopefully the transmission holds in for this weekend uh but yeah shorty is good to go first gen we got some new wheels for the first gen actually thanks to blake fitzgerald he had these in stock uh we needed some new wheels because we have been swapping and trading and doing all kinds of crap but 22 by 12 you already know sticking with jtx gotta be jtx so 22 by 12 jtx prontos on there same tire size that we run on everything that way we can swap tires because we have spares on spares we sent some uh turbo piping off to zach and brian down in texas because at atlantic city this stuff like completely melted and it looked like crap so we got to put this back together other than that this bad boy is ready to rip some burnouts all weekend long so first gen's looking good shorty's looking good second gen looking good there's regular cabs on regular cabs on regular cabs speaking of regular cabs oh and green bean we should have a winner very very soon probably in the next video we will have a winner for green bean so stay tuned for that i know you guys are are patiently impatiently waiting for that speaking of regular cabs i don't know why there just so happens to be four regular cabs in here but ever since we built my brother andy's regular cab pxr g56 fourth gen truck i have been missing it this one came up and i'm like you know what it is time to build a bigger badder spicier regular cab fourth gen g56 truck so this is a 2500 why does it look completely apart it wasn't like that when I picked it up, I promise. I've actually, on day two, I went to cams and we've already torn down all the stuff to get paint matched. I've got these wheels sold on the truck already. Uh, the truck already does have quite a bit of work done. It's got a full Thurin suspension on it. It's got amp steps. Like I said, this is, it's, it's really, really, really dirty right now. We have got, we've got parts stacked up in there. We have got some big plans for this truck. Just, it's, it's completely apart. 100% completely apart. But it is a PXR 2500 regular cab. Fairly low mileage on it. But yeah, we are gonna transform that bad boy. I'm super pumped. So yeah, there is a new vehicle in the stable, just so you guys are fully aware and you're not sitting in the background. But anyway, that is a brief update. Make sure you guys are at the event this weekend. We're actually hopefully gonna get loaded up here like within a few minutes. Load up, hit the road, see if we can't squeeze all these trucks on here. We're gonna put the piping on the first gen. I know I'm talking a mile a minute because we just got things to do, so we're trying to trying to get it all done. We got the step deck cleaned up. We got the Peterbilt cleaned up. We have got the toy hauler hooked up to the dually. The dually's even looking fresh. Mmm, got everything washed up. All right, enough talking, time to keep working. Officially loaded up with three trucks. We got the first gen, 
That's kind of funny. I didn't even realize we did first gen, second gen, and third gen. I actually did not even plan on doing that. It's just kind of the way that it worked out. Uh, we have the first gen up on the ramps, and we've got her strapped down. And she's not going anywhere. So now we can officially say she's not going anywhere. So everything's strapped down. Everything is good to go. We've uh, we've utilized every square inch of the 53 foot Diamond C. We've got her shined up, and we are just about ready to hit the road. Toy haulers hooked up. Everything's looking clean. Everything's looking fresh, and we are about to embark on the journey to Mr. Blake Fitzgerald's to have some fun this weekend. I know I usually always say this, but I think this is probably the most amount of weight that I have pulled and hauled and all that sort of stuff. So, man, oh man, Whew. that is, that is some heat, my boys. That is, that is fire. Wow, I'm, 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 I'm pretty speechless. Goodness gracious. Been dreaming about this day for a long time. Well, nothing to it but to sit my butt in the driver's seat and get this thing down the road. How are you? What's up, man? How are you? Good. This is a this is a setup. Yeah. It actually, like, it it's funny because it's like, yeah, there's three trucks on there. It's like, oh, it's no big deal. It's really it towed perfectly fine i was like i didn't know if i was gonna like notice more weight or it's like, almost like they're built for it yeah know? it's almost yeah. like it sounds like yeah hey, the more weight the better instead of pulling the guts out of a normal dually i oh mean something that's gosh. actually rated for the weight yeah exactly i need a peter belt badly now yep uh, i can't take three anywhere i'll have to take three little ones though look at look at look at that <laughs> rubber falling off yeah. of it yeah yeah that's souvenirs we'll get them out yep god this trailer's nice i like it oh. what brand is it time to see of course, man. I don't know why I asked. All right, so to catch my audience up here, Mr. Mr. Blake Fitzgerald, this is second year, right? Second year. Second year. It's about to get crazy on year two. I can already tell. It's going to be wild, guys. Because um, year one was pretty good, right? Yeah, year one was great. You won the dyno competition. Got some money. That's right. That's right. Got that's you a right. trophy. That's right. Year two compared to year one, nuts. Yeah, it's not comparable. Last yeah. year was a parking lot Walmart truck meet. This year is LST. Yeah. To give comparison, not actual LST. We we can't touch right. that. Right. But um, probably one of the rowdiest events you'll see because of how much safety we put into it. We put a lot of money into actually making a set of bleachers instead of buying some off marketplace. Yeah. And uh, awful idea. We'll buy the next set off marketplace <laughs> for sure. Um, because about three thousand dollars in material later, we have one. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the here's the this is this is here's the, the destruction zone. So your normal spectators are gonna be outside that gate, okay. and then all of your media guys, your camera guys, Dahl, Ryan, all, all the other media companies that registered, they will be allowed inside the gates, but there will be a line they cannot pass. Okay. That's spray painted, so okay. like it creates a little bit of safety. And then another thing we're gonna ask people to do is if you know you're about to pop your tires, try and face the other way <laughs> before you just throw them at some children or something. Yeah. Right. Okay. Just, just try and keep that in mind. There's only so much we can do for safety in a situation like this. So it's like mm -hmm. a dude pops his tires facing that way straight at the crowd. And then, you know, you got something like SEMA where a tire goes 100 foot in the air. Yeah. But we will have EMT and everything on site just in case. There's, there's, enough, there's, enough, there's enough room here. There's enough room. This, this is the Hellcat room. this morning, these black ones. Are. I saw that. I was yeah. like, yeah, you know, a little freak, more. A little more. Freaking it in. Yeah. Um, so that was last year's pad, but you can see the change of color right here. This is the old burnout pad from last year. You can see it was all stationary stuff. And that's a 20 by 50, and then now it's an 80 by 80. Yeah, there's enough room to do some damage. So if y'all can't have fun in this pit, you can't drive. I kind of want to put a wager on who hits a wall first. <laughs> on purpose or on accident? On purpose or on accident is a big thing because I'm just saying, you're just putting it out there on the internet now. So, I mean, somebody's just going to go full truck mode. As long as somebody doesn't do UCC, then we're fine. It's so crazy. Like, look at look out here right now. Like, video out here right now. Crazy because you're just like, this is so much space. You're like, holy crap. Not even close. Not near enough space. It's man. wild because it just looks like so much space right now. The, the people difference is what's going to be crazy in my opinion. Because last year we clocked like 3,000 spectators and we had 150 trucks pre-registered for show and shine and like 270 total which for our first year i was tickled with that but this year we have 550 pre-registered so like times four already if we left it open longer 
we get to six or seven hundred, I think. Yeah. Because we're um, rolling in like 15, 20 registrations a day right now. Just got three more in the matter of you. Filming. In the matter of him holding my phone, we just got three more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because everyone's like, oh, don't want to miss out now. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can still register at the event though. That is something that a lot of people have asked. Like, if they don't register online, can they register here? Yes. Okay. Um, besides that, burnout pad, come have fun. Literally the cheapest burnout pad you'll ever get into. Twenty dollar pass gets you the entire weekend. Is it Friday and Saturday? Friday and Saturday. Okay, so it's Friday and Probably Saturday. Probably Thursday like... for some of us, you know, yeah, if we get a little rowdy yeah, out here, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's for damn sure. A little pre party. Yep. Um, um so you can so is it going on all day? All day. Oh, so it's just open. Nine it's or literally... ten AM, it's gonna open up. Now Saturday is the judge portion. From okay. like one to four is gonna be the judge stuff. Okay. That's when you're gonna wanna just swing it and kill it. Okay. Blow it up, blow the tires up, blow something up. Something. Engines, yeah. tires, engines, tires, turbos, something has to die yeah. right here. Fluid. I better buy some oil dry. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna yeah. say. I was gonna say. There's gonna. I mean, even, even even last year there was cooling, cooling and oil. That's the burnout pad. All That's right. all y'all need to know about that. Your dino's over there, right? Yep. Yeah. So that is our in-ground dino. That's my personal dino. That's here year-round. Um, we just got it serviced, a bunch of sensors replaced, it was doing dyno things, having problems. Mm -hmm. And then over there where you see the barriers is where the Superflow is going to be, the UCC dyno. So yeah. that's that's the big boy dyno, the one you'll be on. If she makes it, she's going to make it. Fingers crossed. she makes it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh, so the do field I. has thinned out a little bit. So yeah, like the I odds are just getting better, but I there is that. some other people that have stepped in. We do have a uh, guest Duramax Wow. coming. Wow. Yes. Came last minute. They said they're going to swing for the Duramax record. That's all I'm going to say. Between here and the other dyno, right. pit area. Okay. Because last year when you got off the dyno, there was really nowhere for you to go. Right. Because Show and Shine was also inside the gates. Well, now Show and Shine has their own lot, which we'll show them here in a minute, um, that we've put a lot of money into cleaning up the property, adding some gravel in the back and stuff like that to make it nice. Because we don't want the Show and Shine guys to feel like they got abandoned. Mm -hmm. But there's so many of them. Yeah. Like there's 580 pre-registered right now, I Literally believe. Literally can't fit them all. Yeah, no, I mean, this parking lot with what we had left after the dinos in the burnout pit would hold like 180. Oh, wow. Yeah. And wow. this is a big parking lot. So, like, wow. Times that by that's three. not even. For pre registry, that's not even <sighs> counting like how many trucks are actually going to show up. Because wow. usually it's double the pre registry amount or near it. So, we're wow. thinking 900 trucks. Holy maybe. Smokes. That'd be a lot on this property. But. There's right. enough entertainment for the whole weekend. We're gonna find out. You got me having withdrawals on the Peterbilt. Uh, if you see this, comment on Minor Greg's video with a Facebook link to a white Peterbilt. So you Thank you. Open it up. You can check it out. Oh, Take her for a spin. Oh yeah. Keep, keep her under 50. She's not fast. It's <laughs> <by that, though. laughs> the job done. She's toe We did end up getting this built. Oh really? Yes. What are you doing with it? Nothing this year. Cause we're two days before when we got it. Oh, like like purchased it. Yes, rent. And this building wow, is going to be the event next year. Ooh, indoor VIP spots, Dang. indoor vendors, air conditioned. Wow, heated, air conditioned. This if it rains, it doesn't matter. This is nice. This is this is next level for us on the event. So everybody keeps like asking, like, what are you going to do next year? How do you make it better? Here we are. Wow, this goes back further than I ever expected it to. This is why this truck is for the 900-ish trucks. Yeah. For this lot. But I was afraid if uh, we tried to squeeze them. It, it wasn't working in there. There was no possible physical way. I don't, I don't think if we had zero vendors inside the gate, we yeah. could even manage 500 trucks in there. Gotcha. Makes sense. But this lot's huge. Everybody thinks it's easy putting on an event until it's time to make everybody happy. That's basically what it is. It, it and is. everybody starts screaming at you, and you're just like, I'm trying to do my best for everybody here, okay? You know there's a lot of categories of you people. Yes. Yeah, so it's like... So don't I, yell at Blake. Yeah. He's doing the best job he can, and it's not easy. <laughs> so the super flow is going to be inside those gates? Yeah. So... Food way away from the explosions that potentially uh, are not gonna happen. Oh, uh, yeah, no explosions this weekend, guys. Don't think that's gonna happen. So, this is where you will enter if you're going on the Super Flow on Friday or if you're going Saturday and you're a mm -hmm. competitor. This is where you go in. Super Flow is gonna be right there, and we've actually done a lot of thinking on like which way to turn it to make it the safest for the crowd. Okay, so the passenger side of the truck is gonna be against the fence. So, if a turbo blows up, it goes out. Oh, trying to make it as safe as possible. Okay. Yeah, yeah makes... put, putting a lot of thought into this. So if you get here and you're like, oh, this this event's so unsafe. No, we thought about everything. Thought about everything from yeah. a standpoint of an event coordinator. First night is going to be like 12 to 1-ish when I start shutting it down. Uh, it says the event closes at 12 on Friday. 
So when it starts closing, I'm gonna start shutting everything down and kind of pushing everybody up. Now, Saturday night, I'm letting loose. I might not be able to hold my head up, but I'm gonna let everybody party. Um, within reason, we're still gonna have staff, still gonna have safety, but the dinos are still gonna be running as long as Cody wants to run them, the okay. Superflow guys. Our dyno will probably cut off at 10. Okay. Um, and then the burnout pad, that's all not. Also, don't trash my town. <laughs> Y'all do that. Yeah, we're gonna we, find out who it is. We're gonna find out who. We're gonna take your skin off your body. Yeah. We're, we're gonna DM all your info to all the show coordinators. I'm providing somewhere for you to have fun and do whatever yeah. you do. Yep. So, have fun here, guys. Yeah. Not in town. This is a small little town, and I think they will freak out if we trash this town. Yeah. So, yep. please don't. Yeah. I want to keep this event going. I think uh, if this one goes good, and then we have the building for next year, nuts. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Don't know where we're going to put all the people. I don't know. It's going to be I interesting. I don't know how now. this year is going to go people wise. It'll be interesting. I can't wait to see how it unfolds. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much a wrap three trucks on the step deck we're at blake's obviously you can see it's going to be an amazingly good time i would highly suggest that your butt is here so we'll have all the trucks we'll be doing burnouts we'll have them be having fun uh dinos the 05 is still a big question mark right now. We actually need to call Michael and kind of see where he's at. Uh, he is pushing as hard as possible. We're gonna try to merge up with him in the next day and try to help him finish that up and get it here. Again, they're doing everything they can over at SNS and uh, with Michael. Uh, We'll see if it makes it. We're going to do everything we can up until Saturday, the day of the event, to get the 05 here. But we'll be here regardless. Trucks will be doing burnouts. We'll be having a good time. This is going to be the event that you want to be at. So we'll see you guys in the next video uh, here. Pretty much here. And you guys will see if the 05 makes it or not. So we'll see you in the next video.